Hello and welcome to a new video series following us as we make a Tesla powered combi. Yes, a Volkswagen VW bus or a combi as they're known here in Australia. But first things first, before we get into the detail of what we're going to do, we've got to find the right van. So we learnt the hard way, buying and selling a few different vans before we arrived at the right one. And so this is a video to tell you what to look out for. If you want to know what it's like to ride in a classic electric car, check out our videos with this very cool Mark 1 Ford Cortina 100% electric. In this video series, we're going to talk about everything it takes to convert a van to Tesla powered. But it helps to start with the right type of van, so let's talk about choices. Our original intention was to put a Tesla motor in the back of this 72 Bedford CF van, short wheelbase, a really cool old 70s van that you don't see many of around these days, especially in this condition. It was nice, rust free, pretty straight. It had a V8 from a Leyland P76 right next to your legs in the front there. So we tried to get it running. Eventually, with a bit of love from the Start Your Bastard, we got it running and it had a nice purr to it, the old alloy head V8. Very good. The problem with trying to do a Tesla swap to this Bedford van was it would have required too many modifications to the rear. However, it would suit a front mounted electric motor conversion as it's nice and light and strong these vans. But we want to do a Tesla swap. So we sailed the Bedford, it'll live on as a V8 and we started looking for something that would be easier to engineer. So the next candidate for the Tesla swap was this nice 76 VW Combi. Uh, the reason why we chose a Volkswagen bus is because it's uh, fairly well suited to a Tesla swap with the independent rear suspension and you can remove the, the rear four cylinder flat uh, air cooled engine and the transaxle and replace it all with one Tesla motor which has the uh, differential or a built-in single speed reduction gearbox and you can have it direct drive. Uh, no gearbox, no uh, clunky gear stick changes, no noisy VW motor. Um, this was a pretty good car, uh, restored a few years back but kept tidy, it was roadworthy on the road running but it had a Subaru conversion so this is a water cooled motor that was in it from a Forester or something similar. Um, it was well done, it was done a while back um, and it had radiators under the belly there which you know it was a good good car. Um, I think after using it for a while realized that it was too good to convert. It would just go against our philosophy of resurrecting old cars and giving them a new lease of life. Uh, this one was already fighting a good fight so let's keep it living on as a water-cooled VW and let's find another one that needs a new motor. So here we are with our third and final candidate, this 73 Combi, which although it doesn't look much, is a great starting base for this Tesla swap uh, project. It's an unfinished project, uh, so it's an open slather, open slate for us to decide on the interior finishes and the exterior paint, uh, but underneath has all been completed. So it meant we could get underway with the battery and motor mount designing and fabricating while we work out what we're going to do with interior and exterior colors um, so this is great great donor vehicle for a tesla conversion have you look at this underneath an engine bay all painted and fitted out and clean tidy no rust anywhere it's ready to have its new engine or power plant added and in this case it's going to be a Tesla power so if you keep tuning in we'll, we'll go through where we source the Tesla motor and the batteries uh, from a wrecked Tesla Model X 
We'll go through how we stripped and parted out all the important parts. Um, you'll see here underneath, very clean and tidy. We'll be putting some batteries underneath in the middle of the belly there, as well as in, in the engine bay. We won't be cluttering up the inside of the car with any battery boxes or if we can help it. We want it to look as stock as possible from the inside and the outside. So the selection of this combi was a combination of trying to find a vehicle that had the right characteristics to enable a Tesla swap without any major modifications and this type of combi is, is certainly that and we found one that is an unfinished project without a motor. This one had all the rust fixed, new panels everywhere so there's no major issues with rust restoration and we can choose our interior and exterior finishes. So that's how we ended up deciding on this 73 Combi as being the right candidate for the Tesla swap conversion. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, tune in next time we're going to talk about how we sourced our Tesla parts.